What's going on, everyone? The Portland Trailblazers have officially won the Las Vegas NBA Summer League. They are the champions, and Summer League is officially over. So the big question is, what is going on with Kyrie Irving, right? The deal was done. The 17th was supposed to be the marker date, right? That was the word in Vegas. The ear to the ground, the sports books raised the price, all of that. The word and rumors were spreading like wildfire that Kyrie Irving deal was done. Rob Palinka looked like a man that just got a deal done. Him and Sean Marks are buddy-buddy. Uh, you know, Russell Westbrook and LeBron James won't even speak to each other. They're not even looking in each other's direction. That's a big headline. That's a big story. All of the breadcrumbs lead to Kyrie going to the Lakers. Russell Westbrook even fires his agent after 14 years, and it's just an absolute mess. And now, the deal for Kyrie Irving could very well still come out today, but in reality, like I've always said, the 17th is the day that Summer League ends, and that these big headline-type deals likely get put off till after Summer League, right? Because the NBA wants to focus and hone in on Summer League. All of the talk, all of the ads, everything you see is all about NBA Summer League. And if you have a deal like Kyrie Irving or Kevin Durant or Donovan Mitchell getting traded, then that becomes the headline. That becomes everyone's focus. And it takes completely away from Summer League. And we have seen big deals in the past uh, not happen till the end of Summer League. For example, the Kawhi Leonard trade, right? Kawhi Leonard, same thing. Las Vegas Summer League, Kyle Lowry, he looks bummed. He doesn't look very happy. Uh, you know, word around Vegas is that Kawhi Leonard, the deal is done. He's going to get traded. That, you know, we're waiting day, day, day. Nothing comes. The 17th comes, nothing. Then the 18th, boom. Kawhi Leonard, official announcement. He goes to the Toronto Raptors, just like Kyrie Irving. All of the deals, the big blockbuster deals, usually happen after Summer League. And I'm not saying it's some big conspiracy or anything like that, or Adam Silvers is like, no, we will not allow any deals to go through until then, all that stuff. But it's just out of respect. It's just in the league. You know, the league wants to generate revenue as much as possible. All these teams benefit from the Summer League and get revenue and things like that. They want the headlines to be focused on on what is going on with their new star players, their new talent, uh, you know, all of that to be the showcase. A team like Portland, right? Damian Lillard, what's going on with them? They blow up the team, all of that stuff. There's all these questions, all these rumors. Well, Portland wins Summer League, and it's like, oh, that's great. Now the conversation can be focused on Portland, and you got some bright spots, you got some positivity, things like that. That's usually why these deals take till after Summer League to get done. So if the deal for Kyrie Irving really is indeed done, we likely don't hear anything until tomorrow, maybe Tuesday the latest. I really believe that tomorrow, if this deal is done, and it is true, again, nothing is official until it's official. But the word in Vegas is that this deal is done. And I just think that they're not going to announce it tonight, right? We're already at almost 6 p.m. by the time you watch this. Uh, so I just don't know if the deal would happen tonight. It could. I mean, while you're watching this video, it could get announced. But in reality, they'll probably give it the day. Let the conversation, let the focus continue to be Summer League. Uh, early in the morning, all of the shows and stuff, we'll talk about Summer League. And then we'll likely hear about the trade for Kyrie Irving midday, you know, mid-afternoon, something along those lines. And then that will be the headlines for Tuesday morning, right? That'll be the big talk. You know, let everything kind of marinate for a day. Let the, the hype and the buzz for Summer League kind of shine its light and then Boom, here are the deals, and that's very likely when you'll hear the Kyrie trade. Donovan Mitchell will probably happen shortly after. I still think Kevin Durant ends up staying in Brooklyn. Um, I just think that all of the all of the potential for Kevin Durant to be traded, I think, is all kind of dried up, right? That that well is just gone, I think, and I, I imagine he's going to stay. But Cy, he wants Kyrie gone. The, when the owner wants him gone, that's usually not a good sign that the player is going to stay there. All the talks about you know him playing in the Drew League with LeBron, but then he goes and hangs out with Phil Handy. Now, I don't want to put too much into Phil Handy because they have a great relationship. Both, play, both Handy and Kyrie have both spoke extremely highly of each other. But it's a good sign when he's working out with a guy that's a Lakers guy, right? And, you know, all the talks of LeBron, he's at Summer League, buddy, buddy. You know, he's he's at the Sparks game telling fans, I'm coming real, real soon. All of this stuff. You know, people bring up the report. Well, Kyrie said, Kyrie didn't say anything. If you read the report, the problem is I see a lot of comments from people and it's and they're not actually reading what is out there. They just see the headlines. Kyrie wants to stay with the Brooklyn Nets with or without Kevin Durant. But if you actually read the article, that's not what it said. What it was was an anonymous source stating that the Kyrie trade was made up by the media, that Kyrie never formally requested a trade. 
They, he didn't say that he went to the Nets and said, I want to be a net with or without Kevin Durant. No, he said that he, the, the report says that Kyrie Irving never asked for a trade, that when Kevin Durant made the trade request, the media just ran wild and that Kyrie Irving was gone, right? That was the big thing, that Kyrie Irving is going to get traded because Kevin Durant is gone. But that completely disregards the fact that the Kyrie trade happened, the discussion began before Kevin Durant requested a trade. I mean, for like two weeks before Kyrie opted in, the whole conversation was Kyrie wants to go to the Lakers. He's willing to go to the Lakers. They don't want to give him an extension, all of that stuff. And Kyrie Irving opted in. He opted in because he doesn't want to lose $30 million. I don't think it's a coincidence that Kyrie Irving opts in and that day Kevin Durant requests a trade. You don't think Kyrie and Kevin Durant spoke and came to a plan and came to a conclusion on what they're going to do. And you don't think Kevin Kevin Durant was like, so what do you want to do, man? And he's like, I'm going to the Lakers. The Nets don't want me here. The owners talk bad about me. The owner says, you know, I would rather have a 40 win team rather than the team that I have now. Stuff like that. You think Kyrie doesn't know all this stuff? You think he doesn't hear all this stuff? You think he does? You think he doesn't want to show them like, okay, watch what I'm going to do. Watch what I'm capable of. Of course, of course he does. They're not going to take away from Summer League. And many people might look at it as like, you know, like, what's the point? If the deal's done, get the deal done. Make it official. You got to understand, it's a business. All of this is a business. They need to generate money. They need to generate ad revenue. Did you see the rings that they gave to the players for Summer League? That's not cheap. You know, and look at what has happened since Summer League. Since the Summer League started, nothing has happened. Everything has gone completely dry. The only thing that's happened is that there are rumors to keep the conversation going. And you had Gallo finally go to the Celtics, which that was announced two weeks you know, before Summer League started. Everyone knew he was getting bought out and going to the Celtics. So that wasn't major news. And then you had the Aiton uh, matching deal. That's not major news. That's not Kyrie Irving going to a new team. That's not Aiton going to you know Brooklyn or something like that. No, it's... Hey, they put in an offer sheet, the Suns matched, end of, end of story, right? That was it. That's all we got. We haven't had anything since. Not any not any like major news, nothing. You're telling me nothing is going on in the NBA because what? They just decided, ah, let's just all stop. No, it's because everyone knows you got this, you know, weak hiatus or whatever it is to kind of figure everything out and, you know, and, and negotiate and kind of work on both sides. But everyone has said that the deal, the inherent deal, for Kyrie Irving is done, that all the players and pieces are likely intact. I mean, Woj and Brian Windhorst on the same day on ESPN, they didn't flat out say that the deal was done, but they said both sides know where they stand as far as the deal goes. And, you know, that is, they again, they know, both teams know what the deal is for Kyrie Irving. Now, could little pieces or little, you know, little things change here and there? Of course, but the inherent trade is very likely done. Kyrie Irving for Russell Westbrook. Whether Westbrook goes to the Nets, whether he goes to a third team, however it happens, I imagine the deal is going to be done. We just have to continue to be patient. You know, the 17th is the was the marker date because that's when Summer League ended. So it was it's very likely that it could get done. But I really believe, and if you look at history and you look at all the big announcements and the big deals for like star players like Kawhi, they all happen on the 18th or the 19th. So a day or two after the Summer League happens. So just like Kyrie Irving, that's likely going to be the case. It'll be tomorrow or Tuesday we'll get the announcement that Kyrie Irving has traded the Lakers because I don't see the Brooklyn Nets wanting wanting to go into the season with Kyrie Irving. I just don't see that happening. I don't see the Nets saying, okay, like, you know what, let's, let's just pay him to go home. It's better to get something for him than nothing for him. No team is going to take him because the Nets aren't going to give up assets to take on Kyrie. They want assets. The only option they have is to trade him to the Lakers. So I think it's a matter of when, not if. Um, I just wanted to put this video together because I know I'm getting a lot of questions. I'm getting people asking stuff, um, all that stuff. I even did a live over on my Laker channel. Uh, and they uh, were asking those same questions. Do I think it gets done? So I figured why not put it all in a video for you all uh, to be able to see. Uh, but that's my opinion. And as always, I pass the question on to you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Are you like, yes, the 18th, the 17th was the end. That was the marker date. It was the marker date because that's the end of Summer League. 18th, Monday, new week, it's fresh. Now you got a whole new topic to talk about the next week, right? That's the whole thing. And, you know, do you agree with that? Do you disagree with it? However you feel about the situation, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below.
One last little shameless plug is I did start As It Stands Lakers. Uh, it is a channel just like this, uh, dedicated to only the Lakers, because the Lakers are my favorite team. And on this channel, As It Stands, I talk about all teams, all sports, stuff like that. We have football season coming up, so I'm definitely looking forward to that as well. And I just wanted to make a dedicated channel to the Lakers to give the ins and outs. Now, all the big stuff, all the big news and stuff, I will still post here on this channel. Um, but if you want all the ins and outs and just rumors and theories and just discussions just strictly on the Lakers, uh, link down in the description or in the comment section. Go check out the channel. Subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. That being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports. Join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.